Welcome back to another cool tool show and tell. Today my guest is Rusty Blazenhoff. Rusty is a blogger, a professional free spirit, and a fluff aficionado. Rusty, thank you for joining me today. And uh, what'd you bring to show us? So this is it. You can see it's got like funny little prongs here and then the pusher outer. <laughs> um, and the package, uh, let me just read the package to you, for you. So, turn the scooper 90 degrees, quarter turn and pull up. Cent <laughs> center the scooper directly over your cone, squeeze the handle and gently <laughs> eject rich creamy ice cream. You can see... I don't know if you can see this little guy right here. He's he's ejecting rich ice cream right there. <laughs> <laughs> so sounds um, like some trainings involved with this particular ice cream scoop. Does it take a little uh, take a little time to get used to it? It did, and um, so I've learned a few things. <laughs> um, originally, I bought ice cream that came in you know the round ice cream, and you basically get three decent scoops out of it before you have to get a spoon <laughs> because once it gets a certain level you can't you can't get the device in there because this jams on the edge so then I went to our local ice cream store and bought the flat packs you know the, the little half gallon and so if you rip it open you know the top uh -huh. which is kind of weird unless you have a lot of gas you know you can get a lot more and then you can flip it if you want it, you know I, I, the, it's really made for the giant ones they have in the store so you can always put your hand in there uh -huh. you know what i'm saying because it will get caught on here so you really can't use it except for the first few but <clears throat> i did bring ice cream <laughs> and i and it, this was on sale and um it's unopened so i didn't get the square box because i can just show you so i have i brought a cone i also have a cone that's the appropriate me. cone too right you know, yeah can you, can you see what i'm doing here uh not not so much i don't know how you're gonna not... rig it you can adjust as needed okay here we go oh no can you see no, no. okay i'm gonna those... i'll lift it up like right, this there you go that's, that's okay good. so originally when i stuck it in there um, I try you, 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 like you want to press the button like it feels like you should be doing something but if you do that you <laughs> the ice cream just stays there because <laughs> you're pushing it out see you're pushing it out okay so you put it in like that and this ice cream has been on the counter for a little while too right a little tiny bit <laughs> yeah. not too long maybe five minutes and then you you do the quarter turn I didn't do it completely in there but you see how it's already your uh, hand's going to get messy. Your camera moves slightly as you're doing it. It's like it wanted to evade being captured on camera. So, look, okay, that. I can see it now. Yeah, yeah, it looks right. See, oh, no, if I do it anymore, it's going to be in there. So that's kind of not great design. Oh, I see, because the handle catches right there on the, on the look, lip. It's like, yeah, and yeah. see how it's taking out, like, a lot more of the ice cream. Now, before I scoop it out, you see. <laughs> it's a crater, yeah. It's pretty great, right? Perfect. So now I have this. Mm-hmm. Um, and then let's see, <laughs> get my this square is the demo fail this. moment. Oh, that uh, looks pretty good. Uh, oh, I like, I uh, like that cross section too. You really get to see the, uh, the, the, the strata of the marshmallow and the chunks and everything that are in there. Wow. Yep. Uh, now, and then, was well, that uh, satisfying the, the handle to the push out part of it or is it nerve wracking? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's very satisfying. Uh, and then it, you've got like a little face cause it, it makes two little, Oh. I just put a third one in there by accident, but it's got a little face when you do it because that's the thing that pokes it out. That's adorable. Uh, maybe this this blew past me, but I feel like this is part of the drama around this scoop too is the the pricing on it. Can you explain to me like the the how to get a good price on it and what the the aftermarket black market eBay market pricing is on this? Because some people might be uh, a little scared at looking at what the price might be for this on Amazon. <laughs> um, yeah. So. I think, if I remember correctly, it was about $20 if you can find it in the store. I actually went down to San Leandro, which is maybe 20 minutes from here, thinking that um, I'd be able to find one because it's kind of, you know, uh, I, I, I couldn't imagine that they would be sold out over there. But they were, and the lady said that um, that they sold out right away. She didn't know anything about the aftermarket, and uh, that's why I told her about it. But easily, I saw them on eBay for 100 bucks. Wow. Which is crazy uh, but you know uh, they, they just I think they just need to make more <laughs> and, and they'll even everything out for doesn't us. seem like that complicated device like it's all kind of just like stamped 
bent steel to yeah and it's not a it really all things considered it's not a great design it's very novelty Uh you know like i said it that thing getting inside there that's not so great like unless you unless you have the square box i just got ice cream all over my desk (laughs) (laughs) unless you had the square box or the giant barrels that they have at the at the pharmacy yeah you know um well also i think it it affords the ability to do multiple like stacks on it too right i can imagine having those perfectly stacked it's right there right Right. like that guy Who's making a stack of himself to eat? <laughs> He's like, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> yes, yes um, cannibalism in a cone. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta love that. Rusty, that's perfect. Thank you for joining me on this uh, the show and tell here. You can find more about Rusty on her site blazenhoff dot com, and I also recommend you checking out her awesome newsletter, Rusty's Electric Dreams. Uh, I'm a subscriber, and that's a great one. I look forward to every week. Thank you, Rusty. Yep. Yeah, thanks. <laughs>